Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to Brandy's Beauty Addiction. Before we get started, make sure you like this video and hit subscribe. Today's video, I am doing my birthday mani. I know that this video is uploaded days after my birthday and I was pretty busy. Now let's start this video. I will be using Intuitive Cancer from Sun and Moon Dips. And I'll be using Cancer from Snapdragon Dip Co. And I'm also using the base coat from Monet Nail Care. I am doing two dips of Intuitive Cancer. This dip powder have black fine glitter and blue medium sized chunky glitter. Y'all know I'm not a fan of chunky glitter. And I had to click Add to Cart because this dip powder is beautiful. And I'm a Cancer. And I am going to tap that on my nail because chunky glitter could be a pain in the butt sometime. Off camera, I decided to do an experiment. So I did a dip of clear to see if the chunky glitter will adhere to my nail better with the dip of clear on. And it does work pretty nice compared to just applying it to my natural nail. And I am going to take a break. My base coat is halfway done and it's so annoying I have to keep tilting the bottle down to get more liquids. So probably the next video or the video in the future that I'm probably going to get another base coat bottle because it's so annoying having to tilt down a base coat bottle in the middle of a mani and I'm probably going to move this one to the swatching area. And I am just doing my typical vertical ombre that I like to do because it's a quick and easy nail design. And I'm going to take a break. Since I am doing a vertical ombre with chunky glitter, I decided that I'm going to place the glitter where I need it instead of doing another dip because sometimes my nail will come out a bit bulky and I don't want to spend a lot of time filing and buffing and I'm going to take a break. I am doing two dips of Cancer and this dip powder has different types of iridescent glitter. There's diamond shapes, mylar flakes, and small chunky glitter. And I think there's other cool stuff in there, but this dip is like really pretty. And when you see color palettes for the Cancer sign, most of the time you see blue, white, silver, and I think gray. I'm not really sure, but I just know that blues and whites are the common colors that people use for nail polish or dip powder when they are doing a cancer sign type of product. Or even cosmetics, they tend to use those colors. And I am going to take a break.
The nail that I am working on right now, I decided to do a full dip. And then, of course, the ombre nail, I am just going to place the glitter where I need it. So we could avoid spending time buffing and filing. And I'm going to take another break. I am going to encapsulate the glitters in clear so I don't turn those poor things silver when I file and buff and I am going to take a break. I am using the activator for Monet Nail Care. I am going to do two coats and I am going to file and buff off camera. I am using the gel base coat from Shonda Le Bonnet on my thumb. I'm going to flash care for about 15 to 20 seconds. It is to make sure when I put my whole entire hand of the lamp that the base coat doesn't move around on my thumb. And for the rest of the nails, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And the gloves that I am wearing, they are from Melody Susie, and they are the UV protectant gloves. You could grab them off of Amazon, and I think they're less than $15. And they are great to have if you're using a UV lamp all the time so you don't damage your skin and when I use the Gelish Mini LED lamp it does have a little bit of UV in it but I didn't feel the need to like protect my hands but when I got this UV lamp I felt that I need to like purchase gloves since I am going to be using this lamp a lot and I want my skin to be okay and I'm going to take a break. I am using the No Wipe Gel Top Coat from Shonda Le Bonnet. Again, I'm going to flash cure my thumb for 15 to 20 seconds and then cure the rest for 1 minute and 20 seconds. And the thing about these UV gloves, due to the material, it tends to slide a little bit. So throughout the time when I was wearing these gloves, I had to keep on adjusting them so they don't get onto my nails. And that's going to be annoying when you're trying to carry your precious base coat or top coat and then all of a sudden the gloves like go onto your nail so I have to make sure that everything is well adjusted before I care my nails and I am going to take a break. I am using the Gay AF Serum from Manny B, and I would like to thank y'all so much for taking time out of your day to view this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're a fellow Cancer, and don't forget to hit the little bell because it'll notify you when I upload a video.